coming up, a literary novel set in Roaring Twenties Manhattan. A novel that wonders how much therapy someone like Cinderella might have needed. Plus, our distraction of the week. I'm Mel. I'm Dave. This is the Library of Lost Time. This week, I'm looking forward to reading Trust by Hernan Diaz. It's set in New York and tells the story of a high-flying Wall Street tycoon and his wife leading up to the stock market crash of 1929. Here's what got me hooked. The story unfolds through a novel within the novel, a historical account, a memoir, and a personal journal. Each of those fictional documents has a different voice. That's one of my favorite literary tricks. The author said he hopes readers will be prose detectives. Prose detectives? Yes, he wants us to examine how the story fits together and recognize the way that different narratives shape our understanding of reality. It sounds like a lot of smart fun. That's Trust by Hernan Diaz, and it's out now. How to Be Eaten by Maria Adelman caught me with its lovely cover design and then toughened that up with a premise that I love. This is a fiction that reimagines classic fairy tale characters as modern women in a support group. Fantastic. Yeah. You've got one woman who's dating a psychopathic blue bearded billionaire. <laughs> You've got another who was once devoured by a wolf, but now wears him as a coat. Good girl. Yeah. <laughs> and one of them won a version of The Bachelor and now wonders how charming the prince really is. A reviewer called it pure fun pulsing with a dark heart. I'm in. Maria Adelman is an award-winning short story author. This is her first novel. It's How to Be Eaten. It's out on Tuesday. And now our distraction of the week. Today we say happy birthday to the Golden Gate Bridge, which opened officially on May 27th, 1937. It is 85 years old today. Its opening was celebrated for a week with the Golden Gate Bridge Fiesta. A spectacle of fireworks, multiple parades, and a song and dance pageant. The pageant was called the Span of Gold. It told the story of the bridge, starting with Native Americans and conquistadors, and ending with the building of the bridge. It sounds very subtle and understated. Oh, it was. There was also a Russian chorus involved. <laughs> The printed program for the fiesta includes an article from reporter J. Lawrence Toole, who said, After nearly a century of dreaming and five years of heroic labor, the bridge stands here, the noblest structure of steel upon the planet. You can read the entire program online. It is well worth your time. The road leading up to the bridge was lined with hot dog stands. They sold 50,000 hot dogs on that first day. Sisters Carmen and Minnie Perez, aged 24 and 22, from 520 Bush Street, were the first people to ever roller skate across the span. About 200,000 people crossed the bridge on foot, paying 25 cents for the privilege. Now that toll is $8.60, which makes my old man's heart rage. <laughs> but the bridge is still a romantic icon and the most photographed bridge in the world. Visit strongsenseofplace.com slash library for links to amazing artifacts from the Golden Gate Bridge opening day, plus more on the books we mentioned. Thanks for joining us on the Library of Lost Time. Remember to visit your local library and your independent bookstore to lose some time yourself. Stay curious. We'll talk to you soon. 